Okay, let's take a look at what we have on tech this morning. Uh, I, I know about RVs, you know, or we see RVs and all of that, uh, mobile homes and all of that, but this one is self-sustaining. Now, my uh, favorite a tech collator in the world, Mashable.com, of course, that's where I get most of these videos. Now, this one is going to be quite interesting. Let's take a look at this uh, and a listen. Okay, yeah, we'll get it across. Now, this is a 3D printed tiny home that can operate entirely off the grid. Now, it relies entirely on solar power energy, including heating and cooling. Now, this is quite interesting. Now, there's also a system that can generate water from moisture outside. Now, uh, quite, quite very interesting. The house can function without being linked to a water supply. This is where technology takes you to. And now the Shah, one of the first in the U.S., cleans and recycles the water. The houses built by a startup called Passive Dome comes in three models. And of course, that's uh, it being painted there with the 400 square foot M1 model starting at about $200,000. Wow. And that's quite some money there. Uh, that's it. Yep. Yep, uh, uh, Mazino, of course, uh, should be around and we'll get to talk about this. But hey, come on, this is something that uh, it's solar. It's a, of course, it can create its own water from moisture outside. Like it can create its own water. It doesn't need, uh, you don't need to sink a borehole or something. But hey, come on, Mazino, what do you mm. think? I know you are someone who's very, who loves being mobile. Yes. So imagine something like this. I know you would definitely love it. I like it except for the part where it recycles stuff because that means I'm eating my own. Uh, you know, you know, there's a lot when it comes to the technology of recycling. Yeah, there's a lot about, and really, to have an eco-friendly world, recycling is something that we really do have to look into. Yeah, it's something that look, look, the best, the, the eco or uh, eco-friendly uh, communities are those that uh, are recyclable communities. I'll say my jury is still out and down. We haven't yet made up our mind on whether we really want this one or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quite interesting. We have uh, uh, quite a few more. Let's take a look at. Uh, Hmm, this one is quite interesting. A robot, a robot dog, a robot dog. Uh, we, you know, we had this talk about uh, human beings. We have a dog actually in my compound, and I love that physical intimacy with life. But then, hey, come on, robots are taking over. You've seen iRobot, Will yeah. Smith, mm -hmm. yeah? What yeah. did that film do to you? Uh, that movie... There's plenty of questions because we're, we're slowly getting there where we're giving robots the ability to think for themselves and make decisions it scared me i okay. like the movie however but yeah the future you know, is just okay. scary let's take a look at this future pets or overlords in this guys let's take a look at this now of course the boston dynamics look alike that we can see there can be yours for ten thousand dollars <laughs> now look at that now it's developed by chinese robotics startup unitree now uh, this uh, unitree startup uh, has uh, this you know, it, it has a sensor, as you can see. You know, you can see that sensor. You can see the motion uh, detectors. Uh, you can see something like an antenna up there. That's the antenna up there. Yep, that you can see there. That's the antenna up there. And it's more or less like a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want a pet like this? You're saying it's, it's pretty much useless. There's no, there's no reason to own it. It's just because you enjoy the fact that it's... Interesting, hmm. I guess. Okay, that's doing some tricks there. It's the latest robot dog model. Um, it is one foot wide. It is two feet long. And, of course, uh, as you can see, yep, it can, uh, it can move about 10 feet per second or 7 uh, miles per hour. 10 feet per second, 7 miles per hour. It weighs oh. about 26 pounds and has a battery life of two hours. Interesting. Why would you want something like this? It can carry up to 11 pounds. Maybe now it has started doing what it should be made for. It should, it should <laughs> now work. It's useful. You know? Now it gives it the potential to serve as a delivery bot. Now, isn't this quite interesting? A delivery bot. So you control it with uh, the A1 somewhat mimics the infamous spot. Because uh, this was an earlier version of this particular uh, pet, in quotes. But its main purpose is to become a pet of the future. Okay. Um, isn't this going too far? Uh, well, I remember there was one um, documentary I saw. It was the uh, Japanese reactor that exploded a couple of years ago. Um, because it was radioactive, they couldn't send people in there. So they sent 
um, uh, robots like these. So exactly. So yeah, I, I, I like the idea of it being doing some kind of industrial job that exactly. humans can't do. But when it comes to pets, no. Yeah, I don't think too I don't much think. to spend on, on, mm, on just I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, let's take a look at uh, this, a smart mask. Okay. And the reason why I had to get this, of course, because we know how important masks are during this period. Now, this is, uh, we, there are different uh, iterations of, a smart, of the smart mask being developed. This is another one you'd like to check out. Now, this one uses replaceable filters. That's quite interesting, of course, uh, courtesy Future Blink. It is described as a smart air purifier. Now, Otmo Blue claims to block 99.97% of harmful particles. The filters are also replaceable, as you can see there. It has an average lifespan of 150 hours when fully charged. The mask has a three airflow control settings, which you can do via your phone app. It can be controlled, like, yeah, yeah, like I said earlier, you can control the map the, the, it via your app. Now, it has two high-speed fans to supply filtered air. It can be charged via a USB-C cable. That's, of course, what a lot of us use now. And the fans work continuously for three to five hours. Atmo Blue also comes with an adjustable head strap, allowing users to wear the mask without feeling pressure on their ears. Keep your lungs safe. Boy, I love this one. I've, I've spoken about a number of smart masks. This is the Takes best the cake, I've huh? seen so far. How heavy is it? Did it uh, Okay, they didn't talk about the weight here, but from what I can see, uh, when you, I mean, something that you want to carry for so long, I will check out, I'll check. Yeah, that's it, that's it quite a very, very because, uh, interesting question, uh, yeah, important question. It's, yeah, that, but that it would is, be very useful. But it is about the best smart mask mm -hmm. I have come across so far. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. That's one. Okay, all right. That's all we can take on tech uh, this Monday morning. There's still quite a lot more to come on the show. Stay with us. We'll be back after the short recess.